guys, I hope you're all doing well. So obviously we're all still at home, we're all still chilling, but the past couple of days I've decided just to put a bit of makeup on and do my hair and I tell you what, it's made me feel so much better. I know it's so nice to chill and be fresh faced and give our hair a break from heat and everything and I'm totally on board with that and I have been doing that. But it was really perked me up these past couple of days, just being able to just put a bit of makeup on, have a bit of routine in the morning and just kind of feel better about yourself and feel better about the way you look and hopefully if you're anything like me, if you do try and do that, it will lift your mood because I know that it's lifted mine. So today I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity for me to sit down. I was going to curl my hair anyway, so I thought, why not film it? Hopefully this is exactly what you needed and it's going to be the perfect pick me up for you all. I know it's helped me, I know it's made me feel better. So if you're interested and you want to learn how to do just this soft textured wave, then please keep watching. So I've prepped my hair, I've washed it and blow dried it. I've used my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. And then I've just prepped it before I blow dried it with the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil and heat protection. The Extreme Play Safe Redkin, absolutely love this. I get it off look fantastic. And then I've also used the Colour Wow Dream Cocktails, the kale infused one, which is for anti breakage. I've been loving this lately. The styling tool that I'm going to be using today as well is the GHD Soft Curl Tong. This is their wider barrel. It's going to create that effortless, undone texture without looking too glam like you're going out. So it's perfect for around the house, especially what we're trying to create at the minute. So yeah, I'm going to turn this on. This nice little noise. Wait for it to heat up. So as well, you're going to need a clip. I'm just going for a bulldog clip. I know most people have got these around the house. So that's ready now. And we've got the wet brush as well. This is just my personal one for home, but you can get these off um, Look Fantastic and ASOS as well. I've had a look this morning and you're looking at about £10. Um, this will go through any hair, and I mean any hair, I'll eat my words if it doesn't work. Any hair wet, I don't care how tangly you say your hair is, this is going to do the trick. But I'm also going to use it to just take the sections, smooth them before we go through with the curling tongue. And then at the end, we're just going to brush it out with a wide tooth comb. Really easy to pick one of these up off Amazon or anywhere like that. So now the uh, curling tongue is heated up, we're just going to take a nice big section. So if you can see, again, this isn't too faffy or anything. So if you look, we're kind of going in line with the tops of my ears. So quite a big section. Clip that on top and I'm going to just split it in half. So a lot of you ask when we're in the salon, how do you do the back of your hair? Easy, just bring it around the front. So we're going to get the texturising spray, spritz on the section. Now I'm going to do this section in two halves. So what I'm going to do is a couple of curls and then I'm just going to whiz around the hair so I can show you really quickly. So this one's going forwards, wrap it up, pull it down, wrap it up, pull it down and wrap it up. I'm going to leave the end out just because I like to kind of create an undone texture. There we go, one nice little curl. So that one went forward, so the other one is going to go backwards. So the silver clip is going to be at the front of your curl. Take it down the hair, wind it back up. And you can use this clip to kind of help you control the curl as you're going down it as well, which is brilliant. Kind of saves you from burning your fingers. Again, we're leaving just a little bit out of the ends. There you go, two little curls. This side, same again, and get the spray. Spritz it on. And at the back, it really doesn't matter kind of what direction you're going in. I do for a more textured curl, if I don't burn myself. For a more textured curl, I do like to kind of alternate the curls. But then around the front, I will explain later, I like to kind of go away from the face but we'll go over that in a bit. So again, left the end out. So this really isn't too intricate and it's a really good way to kind of get yourself used to curling. Again, this curl, the tongue, the silver tongue is at the front. So it's going the opposite way to the other one. And alternating that texture is just gonna, or alternating the direction of the curl, is just gonna create that really nice, undone, uneven almost texture which is what you'd get from natural hair. So it looks like you've not done a lot when you have. Right, so I'm gonna move on from here. So this piece around the front, it's a shorter piece, and I'm just gonna spray this section again, 
front piece is always away from your face. You kind of always want to create that kind of wind blowing it. Beyonce, you know, a little wind machine if you if you must. But yeah, you kind of want to create that away from your face. And then the next one, you can go front, back, whatever. As long as this whole hairline is away from your face, after that, I'd say it's whatever you kind of fancy creating. texturizing elements to it as well so it's going to really help give you here that texture that we keep talking about and I'll keep using the same words but that's what we're trying to create so the spray is going to help do that but at the same time the style on steroids has got an element of heat protection in it which is amazing I know we've already put heat protector on here but I do massively think that heat protection is really 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 important so that's amazing but at the same time the spray on each section is going to help keep your style so tomorrow you will just need to do a little touch up on your curls hopefully depending on how you sleep it's never a one size fits all with um, how well your curls stay but using a hairspray does really help Working too neat either. I know professionally in the salon I'd be working a lot neater than this but I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. I don't want to be doing something that you guys are going to be like well I'm not going to do it that way so let's try and be real. Same rule, first piece away from your face so make sure that the silver bit is facing you and turn it away. Easiest way to remember. I'm going to stay away from your face, I mean, so the curl goes that way. So same again, this one will be away from your face. When it comes to doing the back, you can normally feel the difference between the ones that have already been curled and the ones that haven't. So you can feel any hair that still needs taken into the section. But if not, you can just kind of get a big mirror, stand with your back to it and get a little mirror and have a quick look. To leave the heat on these front bits for too long either because it generally tends to be more fragile pieces of hair so i'll kind of do them a little bit quicker so now we've got the top section and i do think with this it's really important just to kind of do it all backwards on the top just a little bit of uniform i know it's meant to be textured but i do think it just kind of helps tie the whole look together so we'll just spray both sides and now i'm just going to get the front bits and again i don't like to leave the heat on the front bits for too long going to take a section about that big, run the brush through it and I kind of like to come from underneath with the curler on these front bits, still away from my face and just roll it up, tucking any little bits through and don't be scared of the heat either, like obviously don't grab the tongue but you should be absolutely fine, just use your nails to kind of guide the pieces in. Then for this next bit, same again, so we're going to go backwards, just going to run the brush through it, it's out my face, run the brush through it, 
and curl away from my face. So again, grabbing this piece of hair underneath, helping it wrap round, wrap it up, grab it, pull it down, wrap it up, hold it for a few seconds. Hmm. It. If you do a curl and it doesn't work, leave it alone, leave it for five, do another part of your hair and then come back to it. If you keep trying to recurl the same part, even the same with straightening, if you keep going over the same part over and over again, your hair basically just gets confused, doesn't know what you want from it and just gives up. So let it cool down and then come back to it. And that should sort the problem out. And again, those front baby bits, I'm trying not to put too much heat on them, but with this coming from underneath just smoothing with the black bit and then wrapping it around so by holding the tension on the end of the section and kind of smoothing with the tongue itself first it's going to help smooth those bits down without it getting like literally both barrels of the heat like the silver bit and the black bit compressing it together so it will smooth it and help smooth it so again last section hold the piece straight Popping the actual barrel in, then clamping it, wrap it round, pull it down, wrap it round, pull that, pull it down, leaving the end out, and wrap it up. Now this bit does stay cool, you can use that and you've probably seen me using this part too, they stay cool. So you've got quite good manoeuvrability on this as well. So that is your lot. So while we're letting the curls cool, I just thought I'd explain to you why we're doing that. So the reason we're doing that is simply just to make sure they last a little bit longer. So by letting them cool before we brush them out means that they're really going to be set into place and they're really going to stay. But obviously today I'm not going anywhere. So I've just made a cup of tea, come back and then they've cooled down. But normally if you was to be doing this to go out, I would curl my hair first, leave them like this, just all ringletty and obviously no one's going to go out like this. I mean if you wanted to you could, but anyway. While I'm doing my makeup, I will let the curls cool down. And then after I've finished doing my makeup, I'll brush them out. Now they should be cool enough. So I'm just gonna get the wide tooth comb that I spoke to you about earlier, and I'm just gonna drag it all the way through. I know a lot of people do get scared about touching curls and about them falling out. But honestly, if you let them cool, you should have no problem. Even if you wanted to kind of make your parting a little bit softer, could go from the top again remember this is really soft texture we've kind of done them in opposite directions so it's not too uniform we just want it really really soft just something so that when you're milling around the house you just feel a little bit better about yourself and about the situation and everything that's going on so just to finish off i'm just going to spritz a little bit more of the texturizing spray through there are a few different ones out there. This is just my preferred product of choice. You can actually, if you were going out, spray this at your root and it will give you a really nice boost of volume too. So that's amazing to know. As well, I'm just going to finish off with a bit of the Olifex oil that I put on before. Just a couple of taps. Rub it through. I always rub it in my hand. I always tell my clients, rub it through your hand like hand cream and then literally just rake it through. So we're not getting any big splodges of oil or anything, it's really diffusing through your hair. And whatever's left on your fingertips just kind of run through these little front bits. I know people are scared of oil, but I do really prefer an oil to a serum. So guys, this is the finished look. This is a soft textured weave. I really do hope that you get the time to try this. It's really perked me up the past couple of days, just putting a little bit of makeup on and just doing something with my hair. It's amazing to chill and it's amazing to have those makeup free days and your hair in a bun kind of days. But at the same time, I do think it's important for us to feel our best too. So hopefully this has helped. Please let me know if you've got anything else you'd like to see, any questions you'd like to ask, any other videos that you'd like me to do for you. I'm more than happy, I've got the time. I am thinking of you. I'm hoping this will all kind of blow over soon and we can get back to normality. But for now, I'm just going to keep coming at you with the hopefully helpful videos. Right, guys, thinking of you all. Love you a lot. See you soon.